What's up everybody, today we're going to talk about how to make a small home studio. So as you may or may not know, this was my home for the last four, five years, something like that. So this was my creative space where I would go and create videos and do photo shoots and everything else like that. However, we've just moved house, so we're moving the studio in the house. So it's time to say goodbye to my old friend. I'm just gonna give you a quick little tour guide of the old studio, just to see sort of what setup I used to have. So see, this used to be the main bit here. So I used to have it all set up and used to have the sand panels, the LED lights up there, had the sofa. And that's where I did a lot of the most recent videos. Um, in there was just the storage cupboard. So we had storage there. Used to have some LED lights up there. Used to have a TV, the wall and the backdrops. And obviously we've got the black background here. So, so you used to use quite a lot of that for videos and photos and things like that. And then in here we had the white background, which could do and definitely do with the new paint. So the new people who are going to be taking over will do all that. Then we had the other shooting area here, which is the purple. You used to have the backdrops up there and we used to have all the stuff for the clothing there. So yeah, I'm a little bit gutted about giving up the studio. However, it's in the house, so it's going to be a lot easier to use. Studios probably is the white here and up to the door, that's probably the size of the new house, which you'll, you'll see shortly coming up in the video. So it'd be interesting to see how I can turn that space into a usable space just by using this much here as well. So yeah, considering it's a quite big space and uh, like I said, I'm a bit gutted to be getting rid of it, but needs must. And like I said, it's in the house, so it'll be much easier to, to use and set up shoots and do videos and things like that. So I won't have to travel here to get it done. So this is the current situation with the studio. So we've got all, everything dumped in from the previous one and we're just gonna get it all painted and then we're gonna get it moved in. So this is it here. As you can see, everything's dumped in, but the plan is this wall here, this is gonna be matte white and we're gonna have the large paper backdrops hung up there. Then over this side, we've got the TV for tethering, the, the shelf to hold different things like the laptop and things like that. We're gonna have the smaller rolls hung up there with the fairy lights so we can do the shooting there. Have the settee there so we can have people to sit down and stuff like that. And obviously other different areas to hold all the different props and light and things and stuff like that. Just a little progress update. So we've got the, the room all painted and stuff, so that's really good, looking forward to using it. Up in the corner there, I've got all the strip boxes hanging up. Got TV back up with the shelf and the pictures. I'm also doing this area as well. So I'm just gonna flip the camera around and give you a quick showing around. So this is where we're at. Obviously, all this is gonna be tidied up and things like that and put away in its place. So he's gonna stay there. I'm gonna get an eight Calax unit over there to put everything in. And like I said, up there we have all the strip boxes set up. We have some pictures with the empty frames where we need to put more pictures in. And also this area where I'm gonna hang up things, so like the green screen, the ring light, the soft box, the slider and all that other thing. And then up there we have the, uh, the beauty dishes and also some more photo frames to put more pictures in and of course we hung up the string lights here so as you can see there's a the string lights really good for portraits and stuff like that so I'm going to be doing that then up here this is where the smaller backdrops are going to go so these ones here these are going to go up the top here and come down so we can do smaller portraits and then of course over on the white wall over there that's where the larger ones are going to go up the top so you can have different backdrops so this is where we're at we're nearing completion here we've got a lot of the stuff done there's still little bits and bobs to be done but the majority of it's done so let's go have a look so as you come into the studio here you can see here there's still some mess that needs to be cleaned up but we'll get out of that got all the strip boxes and stuff over there we've got tv set up with all the drawers and the storage and stuff so in here we have all the cables and all the props and all sorts of lights and stuff like that so anything that we need we've got easy access to it and it's stored away nice and tidy we have the other wall storage area over here so there's stuff on the floor here which needs to be hung up on the wall and put on shelves and stuff like that but we'll get to it obviously we've got the light there and we've also got the paper backdrop set up so we've got the three smaller ones here and we've got another one spare and over here we have the three larger ones and obviously we've got the other spare ones which are going to go behind the settee so they're out the way but we've got them so they're nice and easy to pull down obviously we've got the white backdrop to use so yeah just a few more bits and bobs that need to be done little touches here and there and then uh, we'll get ready to get using it and start shooting some videos and some photos then these are some of the props and different things that we use for the photo shoots and video shoots so pick this up from charity shop this is only three pound really good it's got a mirror on so you can use that to reflect the stuff on the bottom and it's got a really nice thing around the side of it so it's like nice detail and things we've got a lazy susan there so what you can do is you have your products you put it on the lazy susan and then when you turn it on it'll spin around it's like so so to give an example put them cards in there 
and the product spins around and then when you're shooting video you can speed that up or do whatever else with it but it's a really nice way to to showcase some products so if so you turn all the lights off and then use one light and light it up so if the light's shooting here as soon as this comes around it'll reflect and show up that bit of the product rather than all of it at once the other thing we've got is some blackout curtains and the really really long ones because we have long windows anyway but i've got the, the bigger ones so when i pull them across that covers out all of the lights so the room goes into complete darkness so you have full control of all of the lights which is exactly what we want and of course in here we have all the clips and triggers and different things like that so we have these amazing things which go on light stands so it pops on like that and then you have a little clip here so you can clip various things so reflectors and backdrops and stuff like that so you need one light stand and you can just hang that on there so yeah really happy really impressed with how the studio has turned out and just need to get the other little bits finished and tidied up and then ready to use it and really looking forward to it. It's been so long since I've been able to do anything in the studio and shoot any videos. It's nice just to, to be able to have this space so I can come into it. It's already set up and just get cracking and do that. Hopefully next video that you see will be actually shooting in the studio. So until then, see ya.